Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. If you're looking for some cleaning, some homemaking motivation, I hope you find some here as you watch the video. I spent some time one day this week just going around the house, tidying things up, picking things up, cleaning things up, <laughs> doing all of the above. And I hope you'll enjoy tagging along. I made a batch of you know, just spelt cinnamon rolls. Then I also tested two different recipes for cookies and cream. Cookie, I was just wanting it for the crumbs to use for dessert. And then I did a bunch of other things like, you know, doing laundry, making lunch for my family. And well, I guess we'll just have to watch to see what else because I honestly don't remember. So I hope you enjoy hanging around. I like to start out the days with cleaning the sink. I just want when I say start out, I mean once we've gotten going for the day, had once I've had my coffee and we've had breakfast, then I generally like to get this area cleaned up. I haven't been the best lately about going to bed with an empty sink to be honest. Sometimes I find that my Braxton Hicks are worse in the evenings and so just depends on what we've been doing. Sometimes they're not an issue at all and other times I'm like I really just need to take it easy and try to keep my body in a calm state so that I don't, so that I'm not super intentional about doing the dishes right before bed. It always feels so good to get the counters cleared off. It seems like they don't last very long like that, but it does help me to just go through and clean them off every once in a while because I feel like the more I do that, the more often. It's like it does something for my brain where when you don't see all kinds of junk on the counter, it you just feel good. <laughs> there's like a sense of heaviness if there's a lot of things out. I feel like I heard somebody say a long time ago like a cluttered desk is like a cluttered mind or something. You're just not able to focus the same, so. I don't know, maybe that's true, maybe it's not true. They say creative people tend to be more cluttered, but I don't know, I'm sure there's lots of different ways to look at that. Probably a lot of it depends how you were raised and what you saw or what type of person you are, but anyhow. I feel like I'm wiping the table down constantly these days, which, isn't a bad thing necessarily, but it just seems like there's always little fingerprints and all kinds of bits of dirt on the table. Getting onto the cinnamon rolls, I made these a couple weeks ago and I forgot how good they were. They've got a caramel drizzle topping which it doesn't look like a lot of caramel when you pour it over the finished cinnamon rolls. But I gotta tell you, it just like soaks into the cinnamon rolls and I think they're the best ever. They're even better than the sourdough ones I make, to be honest. So I think I might make a bunch of these for postpartum to have on hand for snacks because they're just so, so good. I use sprouted spelt, which I haven't baked a ton with, but they these come out super, super soft. They're just like so, so good. <laughs> I need to find a good source for sourdough spelt because not sourdough spelt. I need to find a good source for just sprouted sourdough. My goodness, I can't talk today. Not sprouted sourdough, for sprouted spelt. So I got this stuff from Vitacost and I'm going to have to order here, order some more here before too long. But anyways, once I got that going, then I pulled out my sourdough starter to refresh it. I had just a little bit left in the jar. And once I get down to about the last tablespoon or so, that's when I like to empty out the, my little storage of reserve or whatever and feed that and just use all that. So that's what I was doing here. Originally, I was gonna make some sourdough the following day, but actually after I had finished making the cinnamon rolls on this day, um, 
the element in our stove went out, which was really odd because we had just been talking about how we picked up this stove for free and I was like, we were talking about the temperature or something and I was like, maybe that's why they got rid of it because it always says it's preheated before it's actually to temp. Like you usually have to wait a few more minutes or 10, 10 to 15 minutes longer just to get the, te the oven temperature up. And so I was like, maybe that's why they got rid of it. And then on this day, the day that I did videoed this, later in the day, the I heard this like whoosh in the oven and I thought, oh, something's on fire. And I look, there's this bright orange light and it, there's just one spot on the element that's glowing like crazy red. And yeah, it's like the second time that's happened. So I don't know what's, what the deal with that is. We've ordered in a new element and now we're gonna have to wait till, I don't know, wait like a week or so before it gets here, which thankfully I have a couple more loaves of bread in the freezer, but I'm kind of questioning if that's gonna last us until we get the element in, but I guess we'll just have to pull back from eating as many sandwiches. That's kind of our favorite thing to have during the week for lunches. Anyhow, just gotta, I guess, figure something else out. Before any of you guys think that I just have everything all figured out and all put together real well, there were a couple things that happened I can't remember all of them. One of them was, there's a plant on the counter that I thought this is a good chance to water. So I put it in the sink and I gave it a good dowsing and then just left it in the sink. I thought I'll let it drip out. Well, I forgot about it. And my little guy had been playing with his car outside and it got dirty. So he wanted to come inside and clean it off. So I let him and I was taking a breather on the couch, just, you know, trying to not over get overworked. And he was happily playing in the sink for quite a while. And then later that morning when I went to go do something, all of us, I was like, why in the world? There's this whole like layer of brown silt in the bottom of the sink. And I realized he had been playing in the dirt in the pot. And I was like, really? <laughs> so there you go. You guys, I don't have everything all together. I was like, how could I forget this? And I mean, he certainly didn't mind. He thought it was great. <laughs> I figured some of you might be interested in a little pregnancy update. I'm about 22 weeks along and I've noticed the baby has a lot stronger movements, which is kind of fun. It's not like it scares me. There were, I remember with one pregnancy where whenever the baby would kick, I would jump, like it scared me. <laughs> but this time around, I haven't really felt it quite like that, but it's pretty fun because You'll feel the baby. I actually, I was trying to get my husband to feel it the other night, but it's like the baby, I could tell it was moving, but he couldn't tell it wasn't close enough, I guess, to the top of my belly. But anyways, we're getting to that point where I need to eat smaller meals because I feel like things are just, they feel super crowded when I go to eat. It's like my stomach isn't, doesn't have the normal capacity. So that's kind of weird. So that's it. something I've got to try to figure out how to, work around because I really like to eat one big meal and then you know not eat for a couple hours because you just feel full but I guess you gotta adapt and figure out what works. I might use like papaya enzymes or something like that to see if that helps my digestive system just to help the food you know break down faster so you don't have that like stuffed feeling. Anyways. I feel super, super grateful because my husband is often able to come home for lunch during the week. So I was making up a sandwich for him and of course, you know, getting the kids fed. I had my little girl on the counter and yeah, her, her little head, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> The first time I made this recipe of cinnamon rolls, I didn't add enough flour, so it was super, super, it wasn't even sticky, it was like sloppy. 
so I wasn't able to really roll, roll it into a cinnamon roll at all to cut it, but the last two times they've turned out amazingly. I like to use a mix of allulose and then use some gentle sweet, which has ethritol and stevia in it because it just seems to work really well. It seems to have a better result, you know, being in the middle of the cinnamon roll. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's my little girl. She's playing with the toy and talking to it or something. I don't know. I should say you can find the recipe for this cinnamon roll dessert in Trim Healthy Indulgence which is the newest cookbook put out by Trim Healthy Mama. And it's one that essentially the cookbook has recipes that are a lot more richer. They're definitely more for special occasions, that type of a recipe cookbook. So it's fun to get into it. I really have enjoyed making the recipes so far. They're definitely rich and very, very decadent. So it's something that if it's more of a splurge, I would say getting the cookbook wasn't something that was like a necessity but I've definitely been glad I've gotten it because I've used it a bunch of times. And actually recently I had somebody who started buying desserts on a regular basis. So I will, you know, make up a recipe and then share a couple servings with them. So that's been really, really fun. It's neat when there's other people that are excited about eating healthy things and to be able to share your baking with them. So that's pretty cool. I know these cinnamon rolls look super dark and heavy, but they're actually really light and fluffy. I'm th thinking they look heavy because they're just a darker color from the spelt flour, but they definitely are not like heavy or like drudgy or whatever you want to call it. I did end up swapping out the placement of some of the cinnamon rolls because I wanted to have a few that were by themselves and make sure those were nice and big and fluffy for the individual who was gonna want them. So anyways, once that was done, I put them aside to rise and then it was time to bring the clothes in. There was threatenings of a storm coming and you just never know in the desert, things can swoop in really fast. So everything thankfully was all dried. You know, we actually had a fire just a couple miles from where my in-laws live and it hasn't affected them thankfully, but it's one where it's kind of too close for comfort, <laughs> thankfully. It seems like nobody, there hasn't been any fatalities or anything like that. And they're actually at the moment, they're still working at putting it out. But when you live in the desert where things are really dry and there's vegetation, cause we're not in like that much of a desert, it's high desert, but there's still definitely, you know, stuff for a fire to burn. So you gotta be careful. Anyways, at that point, the cinnamon rolls were ready and my oven was still working at this point. So then I threw them in, I added some water to the pan that had all the extra cups just so that way I don't know I think that's just what you're supposed to do I guess and then I went around the house and just started picking things up because I did want to vacuum when the kids eat their snacks and stuff it's amazing the crumbs that get around maybe I shouldn't let them eat their snacks in the living room but it always, I guess, gives me something to vacuum. I was gonna sweep in the dining room, but at this point I was kind of worn out. I was telling my husband I couldn't decide if I should just finish what I was doing or wait till the next day and keep going. But I just decided, I was already up. I think the, the cinnamon rolls were still in the oven and the kids were asleep. So it was like, let's just go ahead and see what we can get done. So I decided to wait on mopping for next time, but just to go ahead and do a quick vacuum. And it felt made things feel just so much better just to get that done even. Mm -hmm. 
Do you guys enjoy watching, seeing other people work? I know I always enjoy seeing things getting done, like when you see the start of a project and then the finish of a project and stuff like, I don't know, folding laundry or you see the piles grow and accumulate. And to me, it's just fun to watch other people doing that. So that's why I include these in my videos because I figure, hey, if I enjoy it, I'm sure there's at least one other person who enjoys watching tasks and just things like homemade can get done. And often when I watch other people do it, it kind of gets me excited to tackle my own things, you know? Like you see a cleaning video of someone cleaning their bathroom and then I'm like, oh, I should go get my bathroom done. Go get it cleaned up. So it kind of inspires me. So that's kind of my goal for you guys to inspire you in your own homemaking. For snack, I decided to pull out one of those cinnamon rolls I had in the freezer, some ones that I had, some that I had frozen, and then make a little latte. You know, I had my French press broken by one of the kids, and I just got one in, but it was after I'd already done this video. So anyways, I've been using this espresso machine the last little while to do coffee, and I just have to make sure I'm always cleaning the filter, but it makes a good little bit, and you know, there's other kinds. I would love to try in the future other machines, but for now, this is what we got, so I'm grateful for it. Anyways, I just added some collagen, stevia, some almond milk, and heavy cream, and that was my drink. So one thing that I wanted to do was to make some kind of Oreo crumble type stuff. I'd gotten a bag of Hilo cookies, discounted the other like a couple months back, and I had them in like yogurt with peanut butter, just some peanut butter, uh, fat-free like flour. Is that what you call it? Ground up peanuts? Yeah, peanut flour, and then some stevia and yogurt, and it was so, so good. So I'm just waiting on the UPS man. He's supposed to bring bring it today bring my well bring my black cocoa that's what i'm going to use for the recipe so i think i'm going to try out two different recipes and we'll see which one i like better but yeah hopefully you come soon because i can't wait to make it because it'll make a great dessert for tonight <laughs> i was very thankful that the ups man did eventually come at first i thought he was going to completely mess us he drove by and i was like um i think there's a package still coming because i could see in my app that it had been sent out today and it had been sent out and was on its way, so I was like, I really hope he comes back. And thankfully he did. I just was out of the black cocoa powder, so. Then I was able to get going on the recipes. I will link both the recipes in the description and I'll put in there my notes of which were my favorite. One of them had a little bit more of a greeny texture, although I liked how it was sweeter. And then the second one, it had, it didn't have that greeny texture, but it wasn't as sweet and it was a, definitely a smaller recipe, so. You guys will have to let me know if you try it. I am pretty happy with the results. In the end, I ended up mixing the crumbles together and I'll just store them in the freezer or something and use them in my yogurts as time goes on, but pretty happy with them. It was kind of a fun little dessert to try out. I asked my husband what he thought of it and he said all we were missing were the, you know, the white filling, like think of an Oreo cookie. It was like you were just eating the Oreo part and not, it was like you were eating the black cocoa part and missing the white filling. So that was his comment. All we were missing was that middle white part. So that was nice to hear. I found it worked easiest to roll out the dough with some parchment paper, or I think I used wax paper, just roll it out. So that way I got it in a nice thin layer. You know, if I did little dollops, like little cookies, I would have gotten a lot more like harder edges. But in the end, I once it was done baking, I just let it sit out for a couple hours just to let it dry out because it's very dry here so it would give it a chance to crisp up a bunch. One thing I needed to do is repair 
two of my little girls dresses she this one she ripped on the door and this other one I bought it it had a little rip in it I didn't realize it so got these handy little like melt on things I'm just gonna cut out two little circles and we got these pesky little tiny gnats anyways and then yeah just put them on the back so that we can fix the little holes I wouldn't say I'm the best seamstress like at all. So I don't know where I got these little iron-on patches, but they've definitely helped out a ton when it comes to small little nicks and rips where it's not like it, it just basically needs a tiny, tiny little bit of patching. So they worked out really, really well for these two little outfits. I've used them on my husband's pants when he gets like a little tiny, tiny nick. And it's not really big enough to like do too much to it. It's like, how do you... Is it darn the word? How do you darn it or whatever? But glue on things seem to really, really do the trick and keep it from fraying any further or spreading. So I've been very grateful for them to say the least. One of my favorite evening snacks as an alternative to like ice cream or something is to do some low fat or no fat Greek yogurt. And I usually do like a cup and a half to two cups, honestly. Then a couple tablespoons of pressed peanut flour. Then I add some stevia. And then either I add, the, and then it's kind of optional. Sometimes I add peanuts and sometimes I add chocolate chips. Sometimes I add some puffed wheat or puffed millet. And it's a really fun combination. But this time, I was excited to add those cookie crumbles because that was the whole point of making them. I was looking forward to having them in this yogurt and it was really good. I really liked the crunch in it, so I would say mission accomplished. Don't ask me why I look so weird. I guess it's kind of late in the evening and I was getting ready to head to bed. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys were inspired by something in this video and I'll see you guys next week.